Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we are going over the much requested and anticipated Guerlain eyeshadows. I got two, the Mystic Peacock and Metal Butterfly, and two others are on their way. So let's go ahead and do some swatches and then we'll get into a look and then some thoughts. Let's go. So there were the swatches. Now, before I get into these beautiful eyeshadow quartets, I'm going to first apply some other Guerlain products. I'm gonna start with the foundation. I'm gonna move rather quickly, but I just thought I would do a whole face of the same brand for you all. So let's get into the first product, which is foundation. This is my favorite foundation by Guerlain. This is the Lingerie de Peau. It is for normal to dry skin, and it has a natural finish. Now this has a velvet finish and it's meant to be worn and last up to 24 hours. They have something called micro mesh technology to help with comfort, basically hydration and longevity. I like to use my fingers when it comes to these velvety textures because I'm combination dry. I like to have the added benefit of the heat and oil in my fingers to warm it into the skin and to make sure that it doesn't lay on the surface of the skin. Velvet textures are so beautiful because it gives you a demi-matte finish. And for those of you that don't know what a demi-matte is, it sits between a matte and a glowy foundation or a hydrating foundation. So you get this like perfect finish. But since I'm a little dry, I wanna make sure that it melts into the skin. What's nice about this foundation is once you've set it into place, it's on for 24 hours. You'll wake up with this foundation on. It just doesn't move. All right, here we have the Lingerie de Peau by Guerlain. Let's go ahead now and get into what we're all here for, which is the eyeshadows. So when I'm done doing swatches, I normally take these off right away, but I left them on because I needed to show you guys just how beautiful these textures are. They cling to the skin. It is the perfect eyeshadow formula. Yes, I said it. I've been doing this for 25 years and that is quite the statement. The perfect eyeshadow texture. Let me explain why. So it has a jelly-like texture that reminds me of Tom Ford, but it's not too soft. I'm finding these new gel formulas crack and break in shipments. I just did a whole video where I actually got three of the new Tom Ford eyeshadows about a month or two ago, and they all broke in shipment. And I've had several palettes do that. I love my Byredo palette, but after having it for a couple months, they're starting to actually break apart. A few other eyeshadow brands that I have, I've been able to actually put my finger in the shadow and it creates an indentation because they're just too soft. Now I like that they're highly pigmented, but they don't feel like they're baked right. I actually said in a Tom Ford video, it feels like underbaked cookies. Well, this, my friends, 
is so well formulated. And for $88, I would expect nothing less. Everywhere that I'm seeing from vlogs and blogs, as well as my own social media followers, all are talking about this palette, Mystic Peacock. And it's because it is really stunning in its color story. This blue is by far the best blue I have ever seen when it comes to pigmentation. The only other blue that I have found as good as this girl on is Pat McGrath came out with a kit. I think it was called Galactic, and it was this incredible, vibrant blue. And I have seen nothing to compare to that since. Well, this is very similar, but there's not as much fallout because of that well-formulated gel texture. It's really staying on the skin. In fact, when you saw me swatch these, did you notice that there was no fallout on these? They literally gripped onto the skin. I can't wait to try these on my clients that are 40 and up because the gel-like texture is so well-formulated. They're just gonna glide on top of the lid and I'll be able to kind of warm them up with my fingers so that I can roll on top of any deeper set lines or creases. Now, if you're young with tot lids, these are gonna be gorgeous on you because obviously they're just gonna look seamless across the lid. But for those of us with 40 plus eyes, we have to think about all these little nuances when it comes to making sure to find the right shadow formulation. So I didn't put any eyeshadow primer on my lids. I just put the foundation, the lingerie du peau all over my face and I put it up here to kind of brighten the brow bone. But right here, I don't have anything. So feel free to wear an eyeshadow primer if you so wish. Yes, it will help with longevity and it will help with brightening the pigmentation in the shadows. I wanna put them directly on my skin though so I can see what they feel like. I'm gonna go in first with the brown color and put just a little bit on my finger here. And I'm gonna lay this down first because this will ground the brightness in that beautiful cobalt color. I'm just tapping this onto the lower lid so that it sticks. I love this color. It is a classic smoky brown look, a little bit of black liner, and this will create a sophisticated eye look. So I deposit most of the color on the lower half of the lid, right near the lash line, then whatever's left over, I slowly start to bring up onto that brow ridge. If it ever gets to look too hard, I'll take a clean finger and just soften that brow ridge just by working back and forth. So I'm gonna take the blue now, I'm just going to tap it right on top of the lower lid. Now, if I were to show one of my clients who's a natural makeup lover this blue shadow and said, we're gonna put that on your lids today, they would be like, absolutely not. But because I've grounded it with the brown, by putting this on top, it just looks really sophisticated, kind of like a navy blue with a bit more uh, pop to it. All right, so here we are. All right, let's go in now with just the blue on the other lid and see what it looks like. Now this is my kind of makeup look. I do not shy away from color. I love color. I'm just pressing that onto the lid so we don't have to worry about fallout, which I'm not seeing any at this point, but just to be careful. Now those of you who watch my channel, you know what this is, <laughs> the art cup with water in it. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier brush, this is a concealer brush, I've had it forever, and I'm going to dip it in some water. I'm going to stop here and tell you guys, I have no idea if these shadows can be used wet or dry. So do not do this if you are worried about ruining your shadows. If you wanna try this technique and you don't wanna do it my way, just go ahead and take a dry brush, load it up with pigment, then go ahead and spray some water onto your brush so that you don't get your palette wet. I don't care. I want to go in and I like to get messy with my products and I like to try things on. It's part of the creative process for me. All right, so wet brush here. We're going to go right on top. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. <laughs> don't ask me what that voice was. That's like... My very excited voice, I guess. <laughs> I love this. So this eye is obviously a bit more dramatic compared to this eye, but this gives you guys the chance to see just how vibrant this blue goes. So let's keep going. I'm gonna grab now with my finger this turquoise color, tap that right in the middle. I'm keeping this whole eye on this side dry. I'm not adding any water to it so that you guys can see what it looks like 
Oh, I love the layering of the blue on this. But blues can be a bit tough. This is very sophisticated. The other palette that I was really impressed by that did a good job with the blue is the Dior Blue Velvet. I would say the same goes for this one by Guerlain, the Mystic Peacock. Really pretty. This would be a beautiful cocktail eye look. Here's the one thing I will say. I would have loved for this color to not be so orange, maybe a little softer so I could have used it on the brow bone and on the inner corner. I'm okay with it because I do have other colors like champagne and taupey kind of sheens and shimmers that I can use in conjunction with this palette, but it'd be nice if it was all in one. Oh, this was just like a champagne color. Be perfect. All right, I took everything off, including mascara, since we're going to be trying on the new Guerlain mascara in this video. And I'm gonna do a voiceover for this next section when it comes to the metal butterfly. And that's because we really got an idea now when we tried on the Mystic Peacock about formulations and textures. So it's going to be, I have a feeling, pretty similar when it comes to the metal butterfly. And I wanna just dive in and play with these colors. Starting with the pink color, we're going to apply that all over the lid, starting on the lower half, and then we're gonna blend it upward. Using that same pink color, I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my blush to bring the look together. Then I'm gonna add the gold to the center of the lid only, a little to the brow bone, and then I'm gonna use it as my highlighter on my upper cheekbone. A touch of gold to the cupid's bow of the lip. Adding now the terracotta orange color. I'm gonna put that on the outer edge only to blend into the pink. And then I'm gonna grab that same orange and I'm going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. And to blend the pink and the orange together, I'm gonna to use a brush to blend it out. Grabbing now the brown color, I'm going to put that on my outer lash line. And then adding that gold once again, I'm gonna put it on the inner corner of the eye. Adding a touch of the gold to the center of the lid as well to open that eye up in the middle. Now as you can see, I use the pink and the orange in here for blush and then the gold as the highlighter. I like to use my eyeshadow, quads, quartets, etc through the whole look on my face. Once again, what a beautiful palette. I mean, wow. So I have colors similar to this in other palettes. Some Dior, Tom Ford has one similar. I believe it's Tom Ford. Um, Byredo has their Prismic palette that has a lot of these colors. Even some Natasha Denona and I could put together. But once again, it's the formula. The formula in this is so damn good, you guys. I can't even get over it. I'm buying all of them. I can't remember the last time I actually bought a whole thing of eyeshadows from one brand. It's just amazing. There's not much more I could say. You guys will see if you decide that you want to purchase one, two, or all of them. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. And on that note, let's go ahead and try the new Guerlain mascara on. Okay, so this is the Noir G Volume Intense 24 Hour Mascara. Let's see how this looks. I love the brush, reminds me of the Dior Show Over Curl, which is what I like to call the rainbow or the smiley face, which helps to lift the lashes and give some nice volume and curl. So I like to use the happy face first to grab the lash and pull up. I like that this is extra black and it was lacquered as you saw in the beginning with the swatch. Oh my goodness, this is really lengthening. Oh, I'm always on the lookout for a new eyebrow pencil and a new mascara. Those two are my things because I don't have a lot of hair. So anything that gives me a little volume when it comes to hair, I'm all about it. All right, so far so good. Like, not love. I like something wispy and clean and feather light. But what I would do with this mascara is I put on the mascara that I normally use, which kind of lengthens and gives a more full soft look. And then I would put an extra coat on top of this because what I do like about this is that it's giving me a more defined extra dark lash and it gives me a bit of a false lash look. So I'd probably wear this at night or if I was taking pictures or a special event and I'd just put it on as like a top coat. Now you cannot beat the decadence when it comes to the design on these lipstick cases. They are gorgeous. They are so luxe. And I like them because they have a classic look and feel to them. Nice and heavy. You pull the lipstick out and it pops 
open a mirror. So the color I got is called, I believe, Garnet. Now this color is a rich kind of Bordeaux red color. I feel like I am a deco film star when I put this lipstick on. Creamy, rich, chic, so very glamorous. It's back in its case. I need to go have a martini now. Instead, I'm probably gonna go feed my cat and take a nap, but we can pretend. The lipstick brings that out in me. All right, everyone, there we have it. There is no need to get into it. You guys know at this point that the shadows are mwah. I feel like I found a new eyeshadow brand. It's gonna be hard to find something that is this well formulated and this good. If you guys like what you're seeing here on True Voyage and you wanna support my content, the best way to do that is to go ahead and use the affiliate links down below where I get a small commission and it helps me to continue to do this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and leave me a comment. Also, if you're interested in working with a professional makeup artist of 25 years, Moi. <laughs> All you need to do is go to shrevoyage.com. I have a list of services that you can pick and we can work together one-on-one -on -one to create a look just for you. All right, everyone, as always, continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.